Don't let leaders define for you what leadership is. Define that leadership yourself and hold that leadership accountable on the ideals that you have defined. The biggest mistake here is that we all come out there and tell you we want this, we want this, and you get carried away. And you don't sit back and say for yourself, what is it I really wanted? Can this guy measure it? Can he measure to it? So you also need to define leadership because if you want to unlock your potential, you need to have that kind of leadership that fits in into your aspirations, thoughts, and hope. If you don't do it that way, you lose a cycle of five years every time. And I often ask this question. When do we evaluate our leaders? Because we seem to reward those who have done least with leadership. And I keep saying, evaluate what somebody has done wherever they are. Because that's the only way we can move forward. If somebody has done zero for his constituency, why do you want to give him a bigger constituency called Kenya and expect that he will do something for you? He will not. Because it exceeds his own expectations. <laughs> he will not. And that's why I keep saying, evaluate the kind of leadership that people are talking about. But most important, define it. To me, you want to fulfill and unlock every potential you have, define the kind of leadership you want. If you define that leadership, then you'll be in a position to actually enjoy institutions that will help you unlock the potential that Kenya has.